so very, very appropriate on this fourth day of Catholic Schools Week to be with the beloved students of St. Mary of the Assumption in Brookline. Very well done to, be, to uh, proclaim God's word and help out at the altar. And I can remember, think about the times, boys and girls, that you, the first time that you visited St. Mary's School, you were presented by loving parents and guardians and trusting your, your talents to the, the teachers. It's a moment of joy, wasn't it? And then this is the first time that some of you have been here in this beautiful chapel that we're celebrating the Mass for your brothers and sisters who are in Catholic schools and for teachers and for principals and for your parents and guardians who make the ultimate sacrifice to give you the best of the formation of your faith, the best in education that Catholic schools have to offer. In a beautiful way, on this Feast of the Presentation, remember the first time that Jesus is presented by his parents, Mary and Joseph, to a, in a sacred place. Part of the Jewish custom is to present the child 40 days after his or her his birth into the holy place to fulfill the ritual prescriptions, which is what they did with Jesus. On the surface, that is so significant. However, when someone presents him or herself before the Lord in the temple, that's when divine and human meet. That's where we encounter the Lord. And in the Lord Jesus Christ, the fullness of divinity and humanity have met. They have embraced. And by bringing themselves into the temple to meet Simeon, who was awaiting the Savior to come, that's a sign and the reality that things are going to be back online with God. For we are encountering him through the ever-present love made flesh in Jesus Christ. And he has, he has confounded the expectations of many people. Who would have thought that a little child would be containing the entire glory of God. However, in that sense of his humanity, Jesus too, like a good student, still has to grow and become wise, becoming strong and filled with wisdom. One of the many blessings about having a school in the parish at St. Mary's is to see the little ones grow up, being presented by parents when they were in pre-kindergarten, and then receiving the sacraments, coming to church on First Fridays, saying, yes, I remember that day where children come from 25 nations who attend the school in Brookline Village, speak 17 different languages in homes. What a blessing it is, a sign that the Lord's wisdom goes out to all the nations to be a vestige of all education and wisdom. As we present ourselves before the Lord, our faith becomes stronger, like Mary, Joseph, Simeon, and Anna. We recognize Jesus and then our challenge and obligation is to bring him to the world and recognize him in the unassuming, seeing him in the poor and the vulnerable, and to have him transform our lives through sacraments offered in holy places, like this simple chapel, as we offer the Eucharist for you who are tuning in on television or online. Be reminded during these days of winter and in our country as Cardinal Supich of Chicago said last weekend was perhaps a dark moment in the United States history, which is seemingly contrary to, co to Catholic and American values as we wrestle with what to do to how to minister to refugees and immigrants. The candles that we light today for procession for the presentation of our Lord, we hopefully can be signs of the divine splendor of the one who comes, to expel the dark shadows of evil, to be a light for revelation to all the nations. And that light shines on us today and it reveals the glory yet to come. Cardinal Sean reminded us last week in a beautiful message on his blog that together we must make a commitment to be beacons of light and hope for those who look to us in times of need, whether they be immigrants and refugees those who are in nursing homes, those who are struggling with sin and despair. On this presentation of the Lord Day, we present ourselves to him to transform our hearts and our actions in the world that we may bask in the Lord's gift of everlasting peace.